Dr. Ken Kronhaus from Lake Cardiology, a bag full of breaking health and medical news. Doc, good Thursday morning to you. Now, we've got to get into this situation with the uh, dangers of sunscreen. For years, we've been told you got to have sunscreen on because the sun is dangerous. Now, the stuff we're slathering on for protection, apparently problems with that. What's the research showing, Doc? It is. Where do you get this stuff? Mm -hmm. What? Why don't you email them to me, Doc? I'll throw them up on the blog. Yeah. There we go, the dangers of sunscreen, something new out there in the medical research. Now, I think a lot of us, if we could stay reasonably healthy, would love to live as long as we can. And you've got some research on the key to making it to 100, Doc. Very, very interesting. Now, Doc, I've been chomping on an apple here during breaks, and you're my heart doctor, and I should be making you happy, according to the latest research. Boy, I got to tell you, I love them, you know, and they always fill you up and they always make you feel good. I had no idea they were good for your heart, Doc, so I will double down on the apples. I'll hit the orchard. Now, oftentimes in the news, we have stories, tragically, of women who are victims of domestic abuse. You have some interesting research on guys who are victimized by domestic abuse. This woman will drive you crazy. Jenna, Jenna's looking at me and she's laughing. You got to treat that 
that special friend of yours well. I don't want to hear your boyfriend coming to me with post-traumatic stress syndrome from his relationship with Miss Jenna. At any rate, only fooling. Let's go on to another another condition that, uh, that afflicts far too many people in this country. The focus now on genital herpes. And as we continue with a house call and coming down the home stretch here, this is interesting. Here's your headline that you gave me off air. Doctors choose riskier care for themselves than they prescribe for their patients. Doc? Right. Now, what about you in general? Do you think that, that when, when you have a situation that needs medical attention, do you think you pretty much go for exactly what you would advise a patient to do in a similar situation, Doc? You're one of the most honest guys and one of the most caring and compassionate guys I've ever met in the medical field or any other field, and that absolutely jives with the Dr. Kronhaus I have come to know and admire so much. Doc, thanks for the house call here this morning. <laughs> I don't know. No, <laughs> no, we love Jetta. We do, we do, we do. We're just we're just having a little fun at her expense, for which I will pay an enormous price. Looks Jenna? like somebody forgot who turns his his mic off every day. Look at that. See, I'm about to get some abuse, <laughs> and I probably deserve it. Doc, have a great day. Okay, my friend, we'll have the house call next week, and you can catch up with Dr. Kronhaus at Lake Cardiology, home of the Bud Scan. You can't do better when it comes to heart care, and I'm living proof they saved my life. Give them a call, learn about the Bud Scan, 352-735-1400, 352-735-1400. Doc on the radio for two hours every Sunday, an incredible show you don't want to miss, right here on 540 WFLA, Sundays at 2, Good Day Health with Dr. Ken. Back on the President's Debt Reduction Speech. This wasn't policy. This was pure partisan politics. More from the Bud Man as we continue at 8:12. From the Dave Moss Volkswagen Lee Road Traffic Center, seeing that busy morning volume eastbound along I-4. You are slow from John Young Parkway into OBT. Also very slow from Cayley Avenue into Colonial Drive. Expect to burn about five extra minutes through this area. Westbound I-4 with pockets of very slow traffic between 434 and Maitland Boulevard. Westbound along the 408 is jammed up between Dean Road into the Greenway and remaining slow into Goldenrod. 528 and the Turnpike both checking in clear. From the Traffic Center, I'm Courtney Bright. From 540 WFLA, Orlando's 24-hour weather channel, high pressure holds on and the high heat will stick around today. We'll see a mix of clouds and sunshine. The temperature will soar to the upper 80s. Late day thunderstorms on Friday. Weather updated around the clock on 540 WFLA. I'm David Maddox at the Weather Channel. I'm Daryl Moody. Coming up at 8.30, find out who says UCF is now the biggest party school in the state of Florida. Republicans and lawmakers in Tallahassee battle over the state budget. And it's been almost a year since the Deepwater Horizon oil rig exploded and caused the worst oil spill in American history. Will Florida join the state of Alabama in a federal lawsuit? Details in 15 minutes. Right now, I want to talk to you about not painting your house ever again. Or if you're a landlord, no more paint jobs for the apartment complex. If you're a pastor, never paint the church again. And when you don't paint, you can keep the place looking great for a full quarter of a century with a great alternative to paint. That is Colorcrete, made here in Orlando by Colorcrete of Central Florida. Great family-owned business that 
been in business for a half a century, so you know they're going to be there for you tomorrow, unlike a lot of painters, right? Uh, with ColorCrete, because it is so much more durable than paint, and it goes on and looks like a new paint job, uh, they give you a 25-year guarantee, because unlike with paint, with ColorCrete, you're going to get a protective barrier against wind-driven rain. It'll stop mildew. It puts a stop to peeling, chalking, and cracking. Great ColorCrete price. I've always been impressed, because you get the 25-year guarantee. It's amazing stuff. And they'll even give you now a 10% price break and throw in a free pressure cleaning of your driveway and sidewalks. Don't paint. Get a free estimate today on ColorCrete. You're going to love it. 25-year guarantee and a great price. Call now for the free estimate. ColorCrete, 407-851-3442. 407-851-3442. Call them online, ColorCreteUSA.com. Traffic on air online is service of Circle K. Right now at Circle K, all your favorite Thirstbuster fountain drinks are just 69 cents. Every size, every day. Pair it up with a classic Cuban sandwich on authentic bread or try our delicious tornados from the grill, two for just $2.22. Yum. Circle K, what else do you need? Hey, boss, have you seen that TV commercial with the National Alarm Company? You know, the one where the home gets broken into with the mom and daughter at home? Oh, yeah, that guy's a creep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but did you notice that instead of calling the police, the alarm company calls the lady instead? Oh, yeah. Her and her daughter could have been killed while she was talking to the operator. Yeah, I know. Now, if they had safe touch, the two-way communicator would have let the operator hear what was going on, and they'd have called the police right away. Yeah, you know, I was in a fine mood until you mentioned safe touch. Yeah, well, you're not going to like this, boss. The latest edition of the Crooks and Rust newsletter said the average response time for safe touch monitoring is 14 seconds. 14 that's right, our Safe Touch two-way communicator saves lives and prevents property loss every day. Hi, I'm Lester Jackson, owner of Safe Touch Security System. No one, and I mean no one, protects your family better than Safe Touch. So call Safe Touch today. Systems and monitoring are still less than a dollar a day. Call 407-331-0335 or go to safetouch.com. State license number EF233. Hey folks, Dave Ramsey here. At MyTotalMoneyMakeover.com, you can join tens of thousands of people who are winning with their money. You'll learn how to make a budget, download the Dave Ramsey Show commercial free, and so much more. Join the group today at MyTotalMoneyMakeover.com. I'm Mark Nation, and I'm a trial lawyer. I provide a service I hope you never need. But if you've been injured in a car accident, I'm here to help. The Nation Law Firm, 1-800-NATION-LAW. Main office, Longwood. Could switching to GEICO really save you 15% or more on car insurance? Is texting getting way out of hand? You know, I can't... Oh, please. Oh, that is funny. Where was I? Oh, yes, about texting. Pardon me. <laughs> LOL, you are my BFF. So, like I was saying... Switch to GEICO now and you could save hundreds on your car insurance. For a free rate quote, visit GEICO.com to see how much you could save. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Here's another question from the GEICO Savings Mailbag. David from St. Paul writes, My son's wondering if he'll come to his class so he can get extra credit on his biology test. Um, extra credit? Well, if there are any questions on that test about who can make it easy to save money by combining your RV and car insurance. Which is an unlikely question for a biology test. Then the answer is GEICO. True. For all other questions about RV insurance, I like to guess answer G, E-I-C-O. Call GEICO or visit GEICO.com today to see how much our multi-policy discount could save you. There are some people out there who like things tough, like wrestling an angry gator into submission before it rips your face off, or building that split-level treehouse for the kids. The following message is not for them. This is all about easy, as in growing grass with Scott's Easy Seed. Easy Seed is the amazing goof-proof way to grow grass that'll thrive in tough southern conditions. Harsh sun, high traffic, just about anywhere. It'll even spread to repair thin and bare spots. That's because Easy Seed is everything you need to grow grass successfully. It's a special mix of Scott's premium grass seed, starter fertilizer, and super absorbent growing material that expands to protect the seed and keep it moist. Just spread it, wet it, and watch it grow. You give it sunshine and water, and Scott's guarantees it'll grow, especially in those tough spots. That's the Scott's advantage. So get Scott's Easy Seed today. And for you folks who like things tough, this just might change your mind. Visit scottseasyseed.com for $5 off your next purchase of Scott's Easy Seed. Weather on 540 WFLA is brought to you by GrandCareFlorida.com. Have you ever stopped to think that the only people who really benefit from a divorce are the lawyers? I have, and that's why my firm has endorsed what is called a collaborative divorce. I'm attorney Matt Inglet with KEL. In most cases, it's cheaper, quicker, and less stressful 
for all parties involved. Before you hire a divorce attorney, call now to speak to one of our attorneys about doing a collaborative divorce. Call 800 New Laws. The call is free. K E L. You have questions, we have answers. Office Orlando. Hope you enjoyed the house call with Dr. Ken Kronhaus, my doctor, the man who saved my life with his bud scan technology. He had before anybody else the heart scan breakthrough uh, that he named in my honor, the bud scan at Lake Cardiology. Uh, I really want you to check into this because so many people in, in America, even today with all the technology we have in the heart field, go lights out from a sudden heart attack when they had no symptoms at all. Doc tells me half the people in this country, the first sign they have of heart trouble is a heart attack that they do not survive. That's frightening, isn't it? But it doesn't have to be that way. Because standing in the gap is the bud scan technology. Doc can see inside your heart in a way no other test can accomplish. And it's just the most extraordinary thing. And he saved my life, but this test showed that I had developing blockages for which I had no symptoms. I'd be a goner now. So many folks have been saved at Lake Cardiology, home of Dr. K, by the bud scan breakthrough. How about calling or having someone you love and you're concerned about heart-wise? Call and ask about the bud scan. 352-735-1400. Don't delay. It's your heart. It's your life. Call them. 352-735-1400. We serve both sides of the breakfast menu, but recommend what's on the right. VHO continues on 540 WFLA. The first step in our approach is to keep annual domestic spending low by building on the savings that both parties agreed to last week. That step alone will save us about $750 billion over 12 years. The second step in our approach is to find additional savings in our defense budget. So just as we must find more savings in domestic programs, we must do the same in defense. The third step in our approach is to further reduce health care spending in our budget. Our approach lowers the government's health care bills by reducing the cost of health care itself. Already the reforms we passed in the health care law will reduce our deficit by $1 trillion. That's President Obama in his uh, much-anticipated debt reduction speech yesterday. I mean that Obamacare lowers costs, there's no indication it's going to do anything but drive costs through the roof and and, and result in the rationing of care. I mean, please, how much are we supposed to swallow in one gulp? It really bothered me when he said that the Paul Ryan plan was the end of Medicare as we know it. This was a campaign speech. This guy is going to ride in and try to be the hero. Oh, it's Ryan and the Republicans, the heartless conservatives, want to cut cut, uh, Medicare and I'm here to save it. He said that the Ryan proposal for $6 trillion in cuts over 10 years, what the Republicans are getting on board with, this this is too pessimistic, that these are the kind of cuts that tell us we can't afford the America that I believe in. Mr. President, we never could afford the America you believe in, which is more and more government costing more and more. You're right. We can't afford the America you believe in, sir. But we're interested in saving the America we have known and loved. I had so many problems with the president's speech. Did you? More coming as we continue. 822 real-time traffic and weather together now for the next 60 seconds. From the David Moss Volkswagen Lee Road Traffic Center, eastbound I-4 is moving along slowly from OBT as you work your way through the downtown area. And we're also slow westbound I-4 between 434 and to Maitland Boulevard. We're still very slow westbound along the 408 between Dean Road and Goldenrod. 528 is moving up to speed in both directions. It's about 14 to 17 minutes between I-4 and the Greenway. We're in good shape along the Turnpike and no reported delays along I-95 this morning. From the Traffic Center, I'm Courtney Bright. Sunny and mid to upper 80s today, mid 60s here in Central Florida. A couple of other things that really bothered me, and this was all about pandering to his base. Uh, He is committed to uh, now, at the next opportunity, undoing the Bush era tax cuts for anybody at $250,000 or more in income. Uh, This is the lion's share of small business owners who are who drive the engine of private enterprise and this economy in this country. You burden them. They hire fewer people. The economic recovery slows. I just don't think this president gets it. Maybe he doesn't care. Maybe he's just on a complete left-wing wavelength that I can't even tune into or decipher or comprehend. So often I feel that way with him. But one thing that really, really bothered me, and maybe you missed this, 
first person I saw to point this out, and I kind of caught as it was going by on the speech live yesterday, the president said he's got all of these plans um, for debt and deficit reduction, but he wants to create a debt fail-safe trigger in case things aren't working so well, in case what he and the Democrats come up with in the way of debt and deficit reduction doesn't really get things under control automatically and across the board spending cut and tax changes in coming years would be imposed okay this is the fail safe and everybody's supposed to feel good about that well that's really great if this isn't working look at the president's got a plan he's going to step in instead of bailing out on this okay well what it's doing is setting up the stage for a tax increase along the way a tax increase along the way he is absolutely setting the stage that is what the debt fail safe trigger is all about it just was so many half truths and so many deceptions in this paul ryan was on fire he was there in the room he was awake joe biden fell asleep during the speech look at that video on the bud page of 540 wfla.com if you don't think so it's unbelievable but Ryan was awake, and he was on fire afterwards, and he said this speech was just was just disingenuous, that he had expected a policy speech. You know, fresh ideas beyond what he has proposed to save this country from economic collapse. And what he got was a speech by not the, not the President of the United States and the Commander-in-Chief, but the Campaigner-in-Chief. This is all about class warfare. This is all about trying to be the hero, the one who saves Medicare. It is all about votes for 2012. It is all about soaking the rich and scaring the poor, currying favor, and repairing things with his base, and winning a second term. The campaign for the presidency began yesterday with this political speech when what this country needed was a policy speech from the president of the united states that's how i see it oh how big is a trillion dollars you know we're talking about um, fourteen trillion dollars in debt and the debt ceiling vote is coming up how big is a trillion dollars i have a video on this you need to watch on the bud page of five forty wfla dot com i think it's right after you look at joe biden snoozing through the speech yesterday and then, and then watch the groping pat down of that six-year-old girl at the airport that we were talking about. And then keep on going, and you will see something you've never seen and flat won't believe. Surfer Bud riding the big ones out at New Smyrna Beach. It's all there. Coming up next on BHL, tomorrow afternoon is the third annual Tax Day Tea Party in downtown Orlando, co-hosted by the Central Florida Tea Party Council, the FairTaxPatriots.org. Terrific raft of speakers, and the keynote speaker tomorrow is the one and only Herman Cain, a powerhouse in the business realm, one of the best talk show hosts around, a rock-solid black conservative who's given a very serious look to a presidential run he's the keynote speaker tomorrow at the tea party four to six p.m i'll be the mc down at lake eola at the band shell the amphitheater and i need you with me you and thousands more because the tea party movement really now is needed more than ever and we need to come together and so we will Next, I talk with Herman Cain live on the 50,000-watt front porch. Don't miss it. Good morning at 828. Someday, I can be a marine biologist. Or a park ranger. Oh, a conser conservational conservationist. I know. I want to drive a train. Helping the planet. It's a value kids and CSX share. Up to five times more fuel efficient than trucks. CSX trains are the most environmentally friendly way to move goods on land. Learn more at CSX.com. CSX, how tomorrow moves. Wearing glasses with Prizal lenses can make a big difference in your vision. Neither the sandstorms of the Mojave Desert, nor the dust and dirt of a Texas rodeo, nor the glare of the bright lights of Broadway can keep you from having the clearest vision possible. 
For no glare lenses with great water, dirt, dust, scratch, and smudge resistance, choose Crizal. Live life in the clear. That's C-R-I-Z-A-L. Crizal. Ask for them at your eye care professional. Gas, insurance, groceries. Seems like the cost of everything's out of control. Except Hungry Howie's. Hey, Howie! Give me mine! Pick up large one-topping pizzas, only $5.99, plus free flavored crust. Call your nearest Hungry Howie's. It's ready in minutes. Is your pool low and green? Did your pool guy tell you to do a 24-hour bucket test? Whatever that is. For only $69, the Leak Doctor's electronic leak analysis can give you some peace of mind and tell you within an hour if your pool or spa has a leak. Call 407-426-9995. 407-426-9995. Or visit leakdoctor.com. For more than 25 years, the Leak Doctor has found leaks in pools, plumbing, and irrigation. Faster detection for your protection. The Leak Doctor. Bud Henninger Live continues with news from the Fox Orlando News Center on 540 WFLA. From the David Moss Volkswagen Lee Road Traffic Center, seeing some very slow traffic westbound along I-4 near 434. It looks like a Road Ranger is on scene of a minor crash. This is all off to the right shoulder, but we do have some onlooker delays through this area. Remaining slow past 434, just a little ways past 436. You do ease up before Maitland Boulevard. Eastbound along I-4 is still slow going from Michigan Street into Colonial Drive. And westbound along the 408 remains very slow between Dean Road into Goldenrod. From the traffic center, I'm Courtney Bright. Traffic on air online, a service of StarTron Enzyme Fuel Treatment. Ethanol fuel is horrible. It makes lawn equipment hard to start and run rough. But it's not the engine, it's the fuel. StarTron Enzyme Fuel Treatment cures and prevents ethanol fuel problems in all engines. Go to StarTron.com or find StarTron on Facebook for a dealer near you. Car crash, visit ForThePeople.com. Morgan & Morgan, For The People. From 540 WFLA, Orlando's 24-hour weather channel, high pressure holds on and the high heat will stick around today. We'll see a mix of clouds and sunshine. The temperature will soar to the upper 80s. Late day thunderstorms on Friday. Weather updated around the clock on 540 WFLA. I'm David Maddox at the Weather Channel. This is Bud Henninger Live. A reflection of our times. Call now. 407-916-5400. Toll free. 866-916-5400. I want you to listen closely to my interview with the one and only Herman Cain. Um, looks like he's in the presidential race from the Republican side. And there is nobody 
on the list of presidential candidates or wannabes who lights up my phones or my email inbox like this man, Herman Cain. And I will take your phone calls in the wake of the interview. Herman Cain is our keynote speaker tomorrow at the third annual Tax Day Tea Party at Lake Eola. I'll be the MC from 4 until 6. Herman Cain, welcome to Bud Hedinger Live. I'm looking forward to introducing you and hearing your message the, tomorrow. Good morning to you. Mr. Hedinger, it is my pleasure. Thanks, Bud. Happy to be with you. And i got to tell you, I'm excited up about being at your Tea Party event on Friday because this sleep and giant called We the People has awakened and it's not going back to sleep. And to the dismay of the liberals, it's getting bigger and stronger. And your event is another example of why. And I know that you attended something like and addressed something like 40 Tea Party uh, rallies last year alone. What will your keynote message be to us tomorrow at Lake Eola? My keynote message tomorrow will revolve around three simple things. Stay informed, because stupid people are running America. This administration has demonstrated that he's playing the American public for a fool. Just look at his speech that he gave yesterday, talking about his proposal to bring down the deficit. His upside-down economics are exactly the same as they have been for the last two years, which is they want more taxes to provide less benefits to the American people. It doesn't work that way. Secondly, we've got to stay involved. The bigger these rallies get, the more effective that we are in sending the message that the American people are not going to take it anymore. And the third one is to stay inspired, because we have to continue to believe, as we demonstrated last November the 2nd, that we can take back our government, we can get control of the Senate, maintain control of the House, and that we can put a conservative in the White House in 2012. That's my message tomorrow at the Tea Party rally. Well, I have to ask you, I want to get to your um, expected presidential run here in just a moment, but uh, your reaction to the president's speech. Yes. To me, we needed a policy speech. Paul Ryan was offended by the fact that that was not the focus, that it was all about bashing his plan and what the Republicans planned to do. It was all about soaking the rich, scaring the poor, and it was all about kicking off his re-election campaign. That's how I saw the speech yesterday. How did you see it, and how did you react to it? I saw it exactly the same, Bud, and it's typical class warfare. It's typical empty rhetoric. It's a lot of talk, but no meat. I was, quite frankly, not disappointed because I didn't expect much out of the speech to begin with. All of the play up, lead up to some of the speeches that the president has been doing ever since he's been in office, they, some of the media spend more time talking about the speech is coming, the speech is coming, and then when it gets here, it's a big flat, you know, it's a big flat failure, like the State of the Union speeches. So I wasn't disappointed because I wasn't expecting much. And Representative Ryan should have been insulted with the bashing of his plan, but this is all this administration knows how to do. First of all, they don't understand economics. President Obama has consistently shown he does not understand how to stimulate this economy because the bottom line on his speech was they want more taxes, more government that's going to produce less growth. We know that, but they want to do it anyway. Does Paul Ryan have it right, or do you believe that that's a starting point for getting this country back on its feet and saving us from economic collapse? Do you see it differently in any way than Paul Ryan does? I believe that Representative Ryan has it right in, in, as a good start. The other thing that I would go after aggressively would be to take Social Security and utilize the mechanism of personal retirement accounts in order to give an option to younger workers who would be able to put a portion of their payroll taxes in an account with their name on it. The small country of Chile did it 30 years ago to wean themselves off of a system just like ours, and they did it. I know we can do it. The reason that President Bush wasn't able to get it done when he proposed the idea is that it was demagogued as privatization. It is not privatization. So I would add to Representative Ryan's proposal the restructuring Social Security because we've got to do that or we're never going to get our hands around the growth in the federal spending. 
Talking with Herman Cain here, and Herman Cain, uh, those dulcet tones, you know he's a radio talk show host, and he has <laughs> been for years, and one of the best. Um, you're also, of course, a giant in, 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 in business, best known as the former chairman and CEO of Godfather's Pizza. What a success story. You were also uh, the uh, deputy chairman and, uh, and chairman of the Federal Reserve Bank out in Kansas City. You have an amazing resume, married a, a couple of children, and in January, you announced you had formed an exploratory committee for a potential run for the Republican presidential nomination. Uh, sir, when are you going to decide whether you are fully in? I will decide in weeks and not months. And I got to tell you, we set out four criteria that we were going to evaluate to determine whether or not it was going to be a go, no go. I can tell you that those five, four criteria were how many volunteers would respond to the HermanCain.com website? That's H-E-R-M-A-N-C-A-I-N.com. The second criteria was going to be how much media presence we would be able to get, being a relatively unknown. And thirdly, what type of presence we would be able to create on the Internet. And fourthly, would we be able to raise money? I can tell you that on the first three, we have exceeded our expectations, and on the fourth one, we are meeting our expectations. So things are going great. As an example, at two weeks after we launched the Presidential Exploratory website, we had over 30,000 volunteers to sign up to work on a Herman Cain for President campaign from all over the country, bud. We now have over 100,000 volunteers, and we are looking for more. So I can just tell you that that is a great sign of encouragement for me to make a decision to do it, and we will be making one in weeks, not months. We'll look forward to it, and we hope you get in. I think you'd, be, you'd add so much to the race here. Uh, is there any possibility you might consider being a number two on, on a on a Republican ticket, and is there someone you admire more than anyone else in the field of GOP contenders? I don't. I wouldn't say that I admire anyone more. Uh, there are several people that I could be the number two person with. And Who would, would they all be? Depend upon. It would all depend upon. Give me a couple. Uh, I could. I could. I could be the number two for Mike Huckabee because I respect his leadership and his communications skills. Uh, if Mitt Romney were to get the nomination, which uh, is looking less and less uh, like that's going to be the case. I could be a number two with them. The key to me being a number two, quite frankly, Bud, is whether or not it would be someone who would utilize my skills and talents to help them not just be some sort of, uh, you know, uh, ceremonial position. I like to fix stuff. And if someone's going to put me in a box, I'm not interested. But if someone is going to allow me to truly be a part of that team in d addressing the myriad of problems we have in this country, then I, I'm certainly open to that. Well, in, in closing, I loved your comment a week or two ago about the fact that the nation got all excited about electing a black president, you know. But uh, what, what, what was the comment you made that, that, they, that they can make it right by electing you? Yeah, I said, well, okay, now that they've gotten over electing the first black president, let's elect the correct one this time around. Let's get it right. You know, and it's not about color. It's about content and character. Amen. So hopefully people are over this color thing, and we can elect someone who brings some real economic and leadership skills to the job, which we so badly need. You are an impressive patriotic American. Herman Cain, uh, our keynote speaker at the, at the Tax Day Tea Party at Lake Eola tomorrow from 4 until 6. I'll look forward to being with you as your MC and introducing you and hearing your message. Thanks for coming to Orlando. It's a pleasure. I look forward to it, bud. Thank there we go. Herman Cain. Your reaction to his candidacy for president, and I'm just sure he's in, and the interview. And will you be there to hear him keynote the Tea Party tomorrow? 407 916 5400 842.
Well, I got to tell you, if you have not test driven an Acura RL, their top of the line sedan, you have no idea what you are missing. Don't buy a luxury car until you've got behind the wheel of the car I'm driving through my friends at Fountain Acura, and that's where you need to go. The Acura RL is incredible. High performance, luxury, every option you can imagine, and I think a terrific price tag, a great value. This is an extraordinary machine. You've got to check it out at Fountain Acura, and along with the RL, the 7 passenger MDX, their SUV top of the line, from Acura at Fountain Acura, both have amazing 0.9% financing opportunities for well-qualified buyers like you right now, only at Fountain. You're going to love this. And if you're driving an Acura, you know how incredible they are. Uh, you can upgrade to a brand new Acura model with no money down and a similar monthly payment. How about it? Go check it all out at Fountain Acura, South OBT, just south of the Florida Mall, online, fountainacura.com. I want your reaction to the Herman Cain interview. How do you like him for president? I get so many positive emails and calls every time the name Herman Cain comes up on this show. Let's see how we do now. 407-916-5400 if you want to sound off. Here's Steve in Orlando. Good morning, Steve. How you doing, bud? Fine, thanks. How are you? 
Very good, sir. That's the first time caller. I've been uh, here. Uh, I'm 59, and I was uh, brought here back in 56 from Japan. I was adopted. The greatest country in the world. And I would say that uh, Herman Cain sounds great to me. And uh, how about Alan West is his number two man? Wow, now that would be really interesting. Now, Herman was saying, of course, let's get past the color thing here. We've already had our little novel adventure by uh, electing our first uh, a black president, which is what attracted an awful lot of people to Barack Obama. Gee, that would be really cool, you know. And, oh, yeah. uh, and, and, and uh, now you'd have an all-black ticket with, with well, Kane and West. You'd also, well, have, you'd also have a couple of guys maybe a little lean on uh, elective political experience. I don't know how important that is to you. Maybe that's exactly what we don't want. <laughs> exactly. That's what we got last time. Isn't yeah. It? But uh, the way I'm looking at it is I'm not looking at color. I just listen to what they have to say, and it yeah. sounds like they're, what they're saying is from their heart, and that's what I'm looking for. Well, there are a couple of rock-solid patriotic conservatives. There is no question about it. And fiscal conservatives is what we are absolutely desperately in need of and exactly the antithesis of what we have run in this country now. Steve, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, so Dave from Orlando, you're listening to the Bud Man talking with Herman Cain, our keynoter tomorrow at the Tax Day Tea Party in downtown Orlando. Your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts, first of all, looking forward to seeing you there. Uh, oh, me too. Come on up and say hello, will you? Yeah, no problem. Thanks, thanks for having me on the front porch. Mm -hmm. And uh, second, the reason I, I love this guy is because he supports the fair tax. And he's a guy that can, can explain it properly so that people have a better understanding of what it is. Because I think that in the media, they really, really mess up this, the whole idea and they confuse people and get them all scared. Well, you know, if he does not focus on the um, fair tax tomorrow, you need to know that this event is being co-hosted by FairTaxPatriots.org, and I know Todd Long will be representing them, and I think you're going to hear quite a bit on the fair tax tomorrow. Sounds good. You have a great day. Four to six down at Lake Eola. Get there early, and uh, there's parking garages around or whatever, and uh, I hope you'll join us. Folks, I hope you can get out of work early tomorrow, whatever you need to do. Four to six in the afternoon. Weather's going to be fine. It's going to be a bright, sunny day, and I know four to six, it's still a work day. But you know what? The last thing we need here is to have critics of the Tea Party movement who think it is dying, that it has seen his day, be able to say, why, wow, geez, look at that. They only had 400 people down at Lake Eola. They had 6,000 two years ago. What's happened to the Tea Party movement? Don't let it happen. Be a part of something incredible. Really, the last best hope for saving this country from collapse, the Tea Party movement. Our keynoter is Herman Cain, backed up by Marco Rubio and a raft of incredible speakers. We'll see you tomorrow at the amphitheater in... Uh, downtown Orlando, 4 to 6. Christy from Deltona is next up talking about Herman Cain, and she's got some issues with him. How about you on Herman Cain, the interview, Herman Cain for president, 407-916-5400. I've got room for you here on the porch, 852. Final look during the show of real-time traffic and weather together on the twos. All right, we're looking at sunny 86, 87 today. Right now, 65 in Orlando. Herman Cain, on his resume, as I told you, the former deputy chairman and chairman, this is back in the mid-90s, of the Federal Reserve Bank in Kansas City, and, of course, former CEO and highly successful of Godfather's Pizza. Here is uh, Christy in Deltona on Herman Cain. Good morning, Christy. Hey, bud, how you doing? I'm fine. What do you think of this guy? Well, I think he's really interesting and good, but it does concern me with ha having his connections to the Fed Reserve that he'd be m less likely to support an audit or, you know, not be on the right page with that. But I'm not really sure. I haven't heard him talk much about that. Well, one good thing is he's 15 years separated from that part of his life. Yeah, I, I just hope so. That's the only thing that I see on, on his resume that kind of makes me a little bit more mm -hmm. nervous than others. But mm -hmm. I, I think he's a really strong candidate otherwise. I'd just like to hear him talk more about his feelings about that. Mm-hmm. 
And I'm not sure that he will tomorrow. Maybe if I had more time with him, we could have gotten into it in more detail here today. Um, he is, uh, have you ever heard him as as a radio talk show host? Of course, I guess he's had to get out of that game right now while he's, uh, you know, setting him setting the stage for running for president. But he has a show up in Atlanta, but he also fills in for some of the national hosts. And I always think, I always think Herman Cain is so thoughtful and so consistent he is uh and so smart and 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 he's he's actually uh he's a gentle and reasonable voice and uh, a very impressive man i think yeah i've, heard, I've got to hear, hear him a little bit but i haven't been uh you know privileged enough to hear a lot about him that's kind of where i'm i'm just looking into him and that's the only thing that i saw it was a little bit of a flag mm -hmm. i understand that you're going to be able to join us uh you're going to be able to come in from volusia county tomorrow yeah, yeah, I'll definitely come out there. We are looking forward to seeing you down at the amphitheater in, uh, in Lake Eola tomorrow. Uh, this is all being put on the Tea Party tomorrow that Herman Cain will keynote, and our special guest speaker will be none other than Marco Rubio. And great speakers to back them up. I mean, learn all about it at 540WFLA.com. We get all the info that is posted there, and I am privileged to be the MC of this event, just as I was at the very same location for the first big Orlando Tea Party in March of 2009. Look where we have come. Now the issue is, where are we going? And we're going nowhere unless we have you and you and you and thousands of others turn out for this incredible event. Make a statement in your numbers. Bring your flags. Bring your signs. Keep them positive. Keep them positive. Nothing nasty that the mainstream media can glom onto and say, see that? They're all a bunch of wackos on the tea party. Don't put up anything like that. You may have something in your heart that speaks in that direction, but don't put it on a sign, okay? Let's keep it on the high road because that's who we are. We're the best of America. The Central Florida Tea Party Council and the FairTaxPatriots.org are co-hosting this event. West Orlando Tea Party, of course, right in the middle of it. I want to thank Clyde Fabretti for inviting me personally to be the master of ceremonies of this event. Dan Stone, the boss around here, for backing me up, and Jenna and others. And um, this is going to be a terrific, terrific afternoon, and we look forward to it tomorrow. Uh, don't let somebody else, don't rely on somebody else to be there. If you have to get out of work a little early, maybe you can make it up somewhere along the way. It is 4 to 6 um, at the uh, amphitheater at Lake Eola, the third annual Tax Day Tea Party. Tax Day, April 15th. Taxed enough already? Now President Obama wants to tax us more. And if you're not infuriated by his speech, and we've been talking about it here this morning, I don't know what would ignite you except this that we've also been blowing the cover off this morning. They're going to sign off supposedly on this deal, this $39 billion in budget cuts to avert the government shutdown. Remember that deal that they cut Boehner? And Reed and Obama and everybody else and across party lines, they're back slapping and high-fiving and the whole deal. And now the, com the Congressional Budget Office informs us, oh, wait a minute, $39 billions in budget cut? No, 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 no. That's not true. All kinds of accounting tricks riddle this deal that the reality, according to the Congressional Budget Office, is that the $39 billion you thought they signed off to cut in spending amounts to $352 million. M. Million. One-third of $1 billion. Not $39 billion. And $39 billion was too small. They still don't get it in Washington. Let me tell you two things in closing. Watch closely today when they vote on this deal. Watch what happens to the Tea Party Republicans. My feeling is nobody who truly stands for the principles of the Tea Party movement can possibly vote knowing what we've come to know about the deception that was visited upon us across party lines as 39 billion in cuts in reality is 352 million. Tea Partiers in Washington, in Congress, those who are principled will not vote for this today. They will vote against it. This is what we're fighting, folks. And the Tea Party movement is the last best 
hope for saving this country from economic collapse. Can't wait to be with you tomorrow on the shores of Lake Eola. Four to six. Be there. Bring your friends. Bring your patriotic friends who love this country and aren't going to give up on the America we have known and loved. We are going to fight for it, and we are going to take it back from those who would destroy the America we love. See you tomorrow at the Tea Party. See you tomorrow morning from 6 until 9 for more talk on the hottest topics in talk radio. Jenna, great to have you back with us. Jeff, alongside her, and uh, that'll be the team tomorrow. And we'll see you at uh, 6 a.m. until 9, right here on 540 WFLA. Until then, God bless you, and God bless America. So long. From 540 WFLA Orlando's 24-hour weather channel, today sunny with a high of 84. Tonight clear with a low of 62. Tomorrow showers possible with a high of 86. Get the latest news, weather, and traffic anytime at 540WFLA.com.